go. Next, we're going to do a cryo cuff treatment for uh, his injured knee. After we inspect it to determine that's what we're going to need, the indications. We also want to make sure that he doesn't have any contraindications. He's allergic, allergic to cold and that this is a, uh, uh, an acute injury or has inflammation. So we're also going to get our pieces of equipment, um, our timer. We're going to check the chart to make sure that's what he needs. Uh, we're always going to have our, our uh, towel. Uh, and then our cryo cuff unit uh, we're going to need. Make sure that we have the tube as, and the knee attachment. Uh, there's also an ankle attachment and a shoulder attachment. And we're also going to need something to elevate the, the knee with or the body part. So. Uh, after we've inspected the area and we are ready for the treatment, um, we are going to take our bucket and we are going to open it up and we notice in, on the inside uh, there's a little line down at the bottom where we need to fill the, the ice to, which is about four inches up from the bottom. So we'll fill that up with our ice. And then next, we're going to put uh, water, fill the rest up um, to the next line with our uh, water. Okay, next we want to make sure that we have the, the lid on tight. Okay, next we want to make, we make sure that we have all the, all the vents closed. Um, next what we're going to do is we're going to um, tilt it on its side. And unscrew this. Hopefully it won't leak on you. Then you're gonna screw this attachment to the bucket. Again, just make sure make sure that this is secure. So that it doesn't leak. Next we're going to attach the knee attachment. And again, if we need to uh, make pro this, adjust the Velcro to make sure that it fits ar around his knee, we can do that comfortably. Okay. Next, we are going to um, attach this end of the core to the top of the uh, attachment and it should uh, snap in there. So make sure you listen for the click so that you have a secure uh, attachment. Once that's secure, um, you can also elevate the body part. Um, and also make sure, just again, just for safety, make sure that you have a towel just in case it does, does leak. And then we are going to, in order to get the ice water into the attachment, uh, we're going to have to turn the, open, let some air into the, the bucket. And we're going to raise it high enough so that the water runs from the bucket down to the air off. Is it going in? Okay. And again, this should be filling up with cold ice water. 
that you just made. And once that's all filled, then we can close the air and we can disconnect this. And again, we want to make sure that we uh, set the timer for the treatment. So it would, would be about 20 minutes. Ask, ask him if there's any discomfort or if it feels okay to let you know immediately. At the end of the 20 minutes, we want to make sure. Or if, it, if he lets you know that it's during the treatment, if, it, if he tells you that it is too, um, it's, it's not cold enough, uh, you can reattach it or you can leave it there if you want to and again you want to open the air vent on the top and now we need to get this um, below the body body parts so that the water flows uh, down back into the warm water from the attachment flows back down into the, the little cooler. So make sure it's low enough to, for, for, for it to go down. Once you have all the, the warm water back in, you shake that up and then just bring it back up above and then the cold water should be going back into the attachment. And then you can, again, until the 20 minute treatment is over, So at the, at the end of the 20 minutes, um, in order to get the water out, we d do it just like we did when we were uh, re, um, re getting the rewarming it or recooling it. So we want to open up the air, make sure it's the attachment, and we want to lower it enough so that the water goes back in into the injured area. And again, maybe just to speed it up, take the attachment off and squeeze that out. Once all the water is out, you can uh, disconnect the attachment. You want to make sure that you inspect the area. See if there's any um, you know, discolorations, if he's had any discomforts or changes. Instruct him to continue icing it uh, 30 minutes every two hours. Um, and then we just want to put away our, our equipment. The laundry, dirty towel goes in the laundry. Um, we want to record our treatment on our chart. Um, instruct him when he needs to come back. And then with this attachment, we want to make sure um, leave the hose on until we can dump the water into a sink. Uh, we'll use the, the Whirlpool. And once this is out, we can dry this out. Take the attachment off. down at the bottom and make sure that's closed and then we can also put this back inside so that we know where it is for next treatment and then put the, the knee attachment or back in place. And that is it for the cryo cuff treatment.